Hi everyone, great to see you again. Hi Pip, how are you? Hi Paul, I'm really well, thank you. And I hope you guys are all well too. How are you Paul? I'm very well. I've had an interesting week with uh, playing trains with grandchildren, oh, uh, finishing off the last things that my wife baked for me a few more weeks ago. So I'm hoping and praying that she might get that baking thing going again. So, sounds great. How about you? What have you done this week? Well, I've had the very fun time of doing homework for my university. Excellent. And are you keeping up? Are you on top of things? Oh, feeling great. I feel so smart. Very good. And today is a very special day. It's Mother's, Mother's Day! day. Yay. Woo, woo, woo. Happy Mother's Day, mothers. Very good. What's the theme of this term, by the way, Pip? The theme still is, Paul, I need to make wise choices. Here we go. We've got our special lesson today is a very wise choice. What is the wise choice? The wise choice is to honor your mother. Excellent. Mothers deserve to be honoured and the Bible says that if we honour our father and mother that we'll have a long life. Do you want to have a long life, Pip? I really do, Paul. Then honour your mother, Pip. I should probably do that then. Do you want to have a long life, Paul? Yes. Well then you should honour your mother. Okay, I will. Good. <coughs> so what does honouring actually mean, Pip? Well, Paul, honouring your mother means listening to your mother when she's talking to you. And sometimes that is as simple as giving her all your attention. Let's just see what happens when I'm not listening to my mother. Paul, Paul, look at me. Look at me, Paul. Paul, look at me. Look at me. Very good. It's also important that we honour our mum by being polite to her. Hey Paul, could you please help me in the kitchen? Oh, no, I don't have to be in Can you please try that again politely? Yes, Mum, I'd love to come and help you. Can I please help you? Thank you very much. Well, Paul, honour also means doing nice things for your mum, like making her gifts and telling everyone about how great she is. So here's my friend and I'm going to tell her that uh, I'm going to give my mum this gift that I bought her for a million dollars. What's your mum like? My mum is great. My mum cooks really well, she's really nice, she's really cool, and she's my mum, so she's the best mum. Honouring your mum means doing things for her straight away, as soon as she asks. Have you remembered to put the garbage out? Thank you. Honour also means speaking the truth to your mum, Paul. Yes, because when you try and lie to your mum, it's dangerous, Pip, isn't it? Because she always finds out the truth. She always finds out the truth. Oh, hi, Pip. How are you? Can I... Hey, how did you know it was me? Well, mothers just know. And here's the juice. Oh. Thanks. Hey, how do you know I wanted juice? I told you, mothers just know. By the way, have you seen my... This? Yeah. How'd you know? Mothers just know. How did you go at the science project today? Good. Wow, I thought I told you about that two weeks ago. Do you still remember? Mothers remember everything. Hmm. Oh. Mum, can you drive me to Peter's house? To I... fix your bike. Yeah, how did you know? No, it's just not. And on the way, can we stop? Stop at the shops and get some textures for your project? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So my mum knows everything about my life, even before I do. I think she's got superpowers. Now, did you eat all your lunch? Yeah, it was yum. Did you like the chocolate brownie? Oh yeah, it was super yum. You're lying. There wasn't one in there. I just didn't see it. What did you do with your lunch? I... I... I can't lie. I can't lie to my mum. I threw it in the bin. Yes. And then you borrowed some money from that boy Sammy, went to the canteen, bought a big pie, didn't you? Oh. 
Yes. You, I spent 10 minutes making that ham and cheese sandwich that you specifically asked me for. I'm so sorry, Mum. I forgive you. You're so nice. Don't do it again. You're so scary. Only to people who lie. How did you know I bought a pie? I have friends in the canteen. They all work together. You can't beat them. Hey, Mum, I can't find my black and white. Thanks. I'm feeling a bit hungry. I'm worried about my maths homework. Riches and multiply. I need to cut out. Oh, thank you. Wow. Hey, Mum, do you have a like a? Oh wow. By the way, what time is it? Hey, it, look, it looks like it's gonna rain. Do you have a? Oh wow. Hey mom, you know that juice you gave me? Wow, thank you. Ow! Mosquito bite? Have some of that. Thanks mom. Mothers are amazing! What was the Bible verse again, Pip, for today? Well, it comes from the second book in the Bible, Paul, and it's called Exodus. And the verse is, Honour your mother so that you may have a long life. Exodus 20.12 One way we can honour our mothers is to think about how they train us to be better people. Yes, because mothers just want us to be good people. And I can remember my mother training me not to be lazy, not to be rude, not to be late. Oh, the list goes on and on. Thank you, Mum. Mm -hmm. How about you? What has your mum taught you? Yeah, Paul, my mother taught me how to say sorry to people, to try and try and try again, and to care for others. Yeah, mums are wonderful. They're the greatest. Pip, I think that mums have some favourite sayings that they use to teach us things. Do you mm -hmm. find that? Absolutely. And I think we can kind of guess what it is that they say to certain things. Okay, so boys and girls, we're going to put you in a certain situation where you say something or do something, try and guess what you think your mum would say in these, situ in these situations. If you say, I did it because my friends were all doing it, what would your mother say? Well, if your friends were all jumping off a cliff, would you jump off with them? If you say, you just went to the toilet, what would your mother say? Have you washed your hands? If you say something unkind, what would your mother say? If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you make an ugly face, what would your mother say? If the wind changes direction, your face will stay like that forever. If you don't like your dinner, what would your mother say? There are lots of starving children around the world who'd love to have this dinner. If you don't want to eat your vegetables, what would your mother say? Well, these vegetables are going to make you big and strong with lots of muscles. If you ask your mum for money, what would your mother say? Do you think I'm made of money? If you come in and forget to close the door, what would your mother say? Were you born in a barn? If you ask your mum for food, what would your mother say? More food? Are your legs hollow? If your mum sees your room in a mess, what would your mother say? Your room is a pigsty. Now, Pip, someone has said to me during the week that the game of the memory game was quite good, except it would have been great for the kids to, to try and compete against you. Oh, yeah, great. So why don't we do that, and I'll have a go this week, and we'll take a photo of the tray, so you will get 20 seconds to have a look at the tray as well. Do you want to grab it? I'll grab it. And then you will see how many of these things you can remember. All right, Paul, you ready? And go.
and over. Okay. So I can remember, there's two candles, a big one and a little one. There's sun cream, there's a soup ladle, there's a tomato sauce thing inside black sticky tape, there's a tea bag, there's a bell. Wow. Out of 15, I can only think of eight. Uh, there is a pen with multicolored tops, colored options there on it. Uh, there is a whole bunch of other things, so I give up. Well, you did pretty well. Nine's a good guess. Pretty good. You what got them all correct. Thank you. What did I miss here? Red lid, salt shaker, these tongs. Pinky. I don't think you got that one, did you? No. Mm. Oh, all right. How did you go, boys and girls? I hope you did better than me. Surely Try better. <laughs> Try that with your family, see who's got the best memory. Uh, and if you're younger, you get less items. If you're older, you get more. Until you hit about 40 and then they have to go back down again. <laughs> Maybe 50. So Paul, do we have a song for today? Pip, I'm so glad you asked. We've got a song for our term theme all about choosing wisely. Yep. So let's see what that's all about. Choose wisely What you say and do Just remember What the Bible shows Cause what you choose now Did you enjoy that song, Pip? That was a great song. So did I. Yeah. Very good. Now it's Mother's Day. <laughs> See, why are you saying it so loud? Shh. My gosh. If you want to give your mother something special, apart from the fact you've already given them heaps, right? 
then you can download, there are two options of cards you can get. The first one looks like this, and you can download that and cut it out and colour it in yourself. Pip, what's the other one? Well, well, the other one looks like this. <laughs> and you can also download that. You need to write in it then, fold it up, and it turns into a little book that you can then present to your mum as a gift for Mother's Day. So lovely. There'll be so many happy mums, right? So many happy mums. Send us in a picture of painting, a photo, a funny face, whatever you want to do. We want to give you a prize of lollipops or stickers for that. Uh, you can already see that some of our pictures are appearing from kids on our videos. And we'd like your picture to be one of them as well. Yeah. And so send something to us at the church office on this address right on the screen right now. Yeah. I mean, I just made a funny face. Does that feel? I think you've already got enough uh, airtime oh. on YouTube. Okay. But you could always pretend to be a child, do a beautiful painting in a childlike style, send it in, and I think we might be able to give you a lollipop for that. Stick figures, okay? Okay, boys and girls, please send yours in. Hey. <laughs> Pip, that brings us to the end of this episode. Oh, again. Went so quickly. So quickly. Can you pray for us, Pip? I would love to pray for us and all the beautiful mothers out there. Oh, yeah. Lord, we thank you for our mothers. We thank you that they are kind people. And Lord, we just pray that um, as we go on, that we take the lessons that we've learned today to be kind and helpful and loving to our mothers. And um, yeah, just help our mothers live life to the full, God. We pray for every single kid. We pray for a blessing over them. And Lord, we pray for a blessing over our mothers. Yes. In your mighty name, amen. Amen. Thank you for that prayer. And we'll see you next week, kids. See you next week. Bye. All right, are you ready? So not ready. <laughs> Hi everyone! Thanks Pip. <laughs> okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> and uh, yeah. excellent. And if you ever had to and if you do DVD. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure I just <laughs> And that is our game for today. Yeah. I realised I got your total wrong. Your total was eight, and I said, and that gives you nine. Oh, That's never, okay. Never do games with me where I got to do numbers. Okay, no worries. <laughs> um, let's go to their song anyway, and it's called. That's going to be a feature for, for you to show your people. <laughs> oh, they don't know about this. I love this face. <laughs> because we're about to do a skit. Yeah. Let's go and do that right now. Very <laughs> <laughs> bad things to do with your watch. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> what have you got there? What about your, your man? What manual have you got? Hang on. Uh oh, this will happy, strong life where we are helping other people build them up and uh, where we ended up. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. Can you please really make, make sure you're creating a blooper reel? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, what did you think of the last chapter, Pip? That was amazing, Paul. Yeah. It was pretty amazing to, to read how. Um, no. All right, that was the last chapter. Pip, what did you think of that? That was amazing, Paul. Mm -hmm. I really liked how um, even after 10 years, people were still being positively influenced. Um, still having their lives, yeah, still, still changing their lives. Yeah, <laughs> their lives are still changing. Change. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You're the wordsmith. <laughs> what do they need? Well, they'll need sparkly bubbles or plain bubbles. Actually, we call those pom-poms, Pip. Well, let's start that again, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might leave that in. Uh, but we'll go to that, and then you'll be able to get one of these things afterwards. Let's see what did that... Oh. Uh, okay, you're right. 
to start again. This is the greatest. <laughs> what, what are we doing for craft, Paul? What are we doing for craft today, Paul? <laughs> well, we're doing a special Mother's Day thing because, Pip, guess what? Keep it secret. Next Sunday, Mother's Day. Mother's Day? Shh. Oh, sorry. Your mother might have heard you say Oh, dear. Okay, we've got to make something for Mum. And cardboard, what have you got there that they'll need, Pip? Well, we've got some fantastic plain pom-poms or some also fantastic glittery pom-poms. Super duper pom-poms. Double pom-pom. <laughs> okay, just no. pick up, just say, um, this Paul, we're giving away um, two packets of pom-poms to people who oh, send us in a picture, a photo, painting. Okay. okay, that was the craft, which I thought looked really nice. Yeah, yeah. Mums would like that. Really excited. And what are we doing now with those pom poms, Pip? Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I choked. If you guys, they're only worth about. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> They're a cheapskate kid. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Excellent. Thanks, Pip. That's good. <laughs> now we need to go into the kitchen and wash my phone. <laughs>